Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through all of these. They're all pretty quick. So first things first, I need to make sure that all of the numbers in columns B and C are formatted as currency. So to do that, if they're not already, all you do is come up here and click on the little dollar symbol, and it makes them currency format. If I went and just made these plain numbers, you can see they aren't currency. But then when I highlight them and do the dollar, it turns them into currency form. So that's number one. Um, number two, all of the transportation, all the, the category headings and the totals need to be bolded. So I'm going to highlight these and make them bold. And then I can just highlight each row after that and do Command Y or bold it. It doesn't really matter. Just need to get them bolded. All I'm doing is bolding. Okay. Um, then uh, all of the category label, or not the category, the expense labels, they need to be right aligned. Right aligned. So I'm going to highlight the cells and go to the toolbar, align right, toolbar, align right, or highlight these and do command Y. Um, and then the totals label will be right aligned as well. And all of these will be right aligned as well. Um, I also need to wrap the entire table in a border. So I highlight the whole table, click and drag through the whole thing, A1 through C36 for me. Yours might be a little bit different. I'm going to go to the toolbar, go to format, outer border. I can adjust the line thickness. Here. And then um, below budget total and above remaining budget, we need to set a border bottom. But instead of being a solid line, we want it to be this double line border. And then these last items here, we're going to make them a little bit bigger font, 12 point font and bold. They're important. And uh, that is the look and feel of our budget.